This video will show you how to create a box using CSS. This can be very useful if you want to separate a bit of content on your document from the surrounding content by putting it in a box. Now this should not be confused with simply adding a border around your text because while adding a border allows for various styling, it does go the entire width of the browser window. With the CSS box model that we're going to be demonstrating here, you're allowed more control over both the width and the height. Now with the CSS box model, you have four parts that you can style. You have the margin, the border, and padding all surrounding the content box. Here let's open up our editor and have a look at an example of putting together a CSS box. Now I've already added some content down here and some styling up here for our CSS box in between the opening and closing style tags here in the head section. Now this is basic CSS syntax where I've created a class called Coolbox. Now you can name these classes as well as IDs anything you want and I named this one Coolbox because well it's about a box and I think it's cool. Now we are associating this with a div tag so I've added that in the CSS syntax here and I've already added that div tag here in the content area. Now we've got the like I said the basic CSS syntax where we have the opening curly brackets and I've got the width property and the value I have in M's across the board. I find that that's better and actually recommended instead of having pixels because in M, one M equals whatever the default is for that browser. And if it's not defined anywhere, then it's by default going to be equal to 16 pixels. So if you've got, say for example, the width here, I wanted that to be like 450 pixels. You would simply divide 450 into 16 to come up with the M value. And that's what I did here. Likewise with the padding, the border, and the margin. Now if we take a look at this in our browser, I'm, on up here, I'm just going to keep everything right here in this window. So I'm going to look at it here in the Komodo browser. That's, by the way, the name of this editor here. It's called Komodo. And right here's our box. Now, one thing you may have noticed here is that I did not define the height. You can, but whenever you do not define the height, then the height stretches to the size of the content within that box. Let me throw an image in here real quick just to demonstrate. Come on down here and oh, let's put it at the end of our text of the content and save. And there it is. Oh, let me stretch that out a little bit. Let's say... 250 on the width. There you go. And you can even style this a little bit more by putting it in the center of this box. But as you can see here, the box stretched to the size of the content within that box. And there's so much more styling you can do with this. Now, the way I have it set up here is that the padding, for example, is the same all the way around. For example, if we wanted less padding on the left, more padding on the top and bottom, we can do that by simply adding additional styles here. Padding dash left, certain amount. Padding dash right, certain amount, and so on. Likewise with the border and the margin. The way that it's set up right now, the margin is this number all the way around. The margin, by the way, is outside of the border. And likewise with the border. And we can style the border, as you see here, even further than just the width. You can style it with the color. And the value of this border style is, in this case, dotted. There's a whole bunch of different options you can go with here, from dashed to solid to even outset, ridge, and groove. For example, let's throw outset in here. Kind of gives a little bit more of a pizzazz. And, of course, you can adjust the color as well and so on. And this brings us to the end of this video on adding a CSS box to your HTML document.